So, hallo, herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Und was soll ich sagen? Wir sind gerade so in den letzten Zügen der Ermittlung des Mordfalls Sayaka. Und haben jetzt ihre DVD, die wir uns mal ansehen wollen. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds. But then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center was a face I recognized all too well. Uh, too, too well, genau, ich bin zu deutsche, too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friends she said had been uh, so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice had come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then. Suddenly, the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. What the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. B what the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get, the uh, get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? So, sobald man immer alle Sachen gefunden hat, die zu einem Fall gehören, passiert das. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <lacht> See you soon. Und jetzt wissen wir auch, wozu diese rote Tür da ist. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? Yes? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? <laughs> it's 
Is everyone here? Okay, then. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Okay. Gehen wir von links nach rechts nochmal durch. Why? So ever stuck is... Has ever stuck us here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Impossible. Damn. We really gotta go through this... Uh, through with this class trial thing, huh? You know? If you wanna confess, I guess now's the time to do it. I'm telling you, let's not do it. There's no point in standing around here. Settle your resolve and step into the future. Let's get started. Got it. Relax, I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, in the end I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this really how Sayaka would want us to find out who killed her? What the heck? I can't help but wonder what who, and what whoever killed Sayaka is feeling right now. <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? Eigentlich ja schon, die Aussage von von Aoi. Being so insistent even though he obviously killed her. Very impressive. Das ist halt auch das Interessante an dieser Situation. Es reicht, wenn eine Person einem die Unschuld belegen kann, denn der Täter würde es nicht tun. Also wenn jemand deine Unschuld belegen kann, es ist egal, der Täter würde es nicht machen. Aber andere Personen, die das machen, also generell, wenn einer sowas tut, ist das eigentlich ein ziemlich direkter Beweis. Well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? Er scheint sich richtig zu freuen. So the school basement has become the darkened stage. We are all here to bear witness to Mr. Nagy's final curtain call. Leon, hätte ich ja noch fast vergessen. You know what I mean. Well, I did my job. I'm counting on the rest of you from here on out. Dann mal los. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well then. Let us begin. Yes, indeed. Good idea. Hey. Are you scared? N no, scared isn't quite right. Makoto. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me that uh, to do that. In Sayaka's honor. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed and the elevator started to move. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school basement. I wonder if this is how a death row in uh, in the inmate feels when his time finally comes. Oh. Rather than that, it's not more like a defendant. Uh, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to a shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. You finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood Hollywood movie set, right? Shit, not even close. It's total shit. Well now. Okay, okay, everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Hurry up now, hurry up! We did what he said and found our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. Ich möchte hier übrigens noch eine Sache anmerken. 
ähm, wenn das Ganze, was dann eigentlich auch den Namen des Spiels ausmacht, dann Ganronpa richtig losgeht, da ist sehr viel vertont, das heißt, da muss ich eigentlich die meiste Zeit nur die Klappe halten. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Warum zum Henk hat man eigentlich diesen Blick bei Aoi? Das verstehe ich jetzt gerade nicht. Which also meant it'd be easier for anyone to transfer that tension and unease onto anyone else. Das ist ein sehr seltsamer Fanservice gerade. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Mir ist das vorher sogar nie aufgefallen. Egal genug von Aoi's Brüsten. Weiter. And so the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. So, speichern. So, ich habe mir jetzt doch einen zweiten Speicherstand angelegt. So, jetzt hier Set Skills. Klingt erstmal interessant. Wir haben elf Skill Points und wir können das hier schon mal einsetzen. Kostet nur drei. Den Rest... Ja, haben wir nicht. Aber das hier bringt halt was. Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. Das wird kommen in diesem Ding. Open E-Handbook ist einfach nur... Ja, wir können uns nochmal die Dinge ansehen. Was haben wir gefunden? Erstmal File, das uns halt sagt, okay, wie ist sie gestorben und so weiter. Evidence of Struggle und so weiter. Wir haben hier diese ganzen Sachen nochmal. Also Leute, beginnen wir. Class Trial, all rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the Class Trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one. Erstmal kurz der Begriff who done it ist eigentlich so eine ähm, so ein literarischer Stil bei äh, bei Krimis zum Beispiel. Nach dem Motto okay wer war der Mörder? <lacht> Wie wir das hier jetzt auch haben. Deshalb who done it passt da sehr gut. Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course. Jetzt hören wir hier sehr oft auch Makoto selber reden. Okay, then. everyone, close your eyes, and whoever did it, raise your hand. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Friendship penetrates. Ey, ernsthaft. Ich meine, gut, ich hatte auch meine Freundschaft bloß, aber das. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Uh-huh. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. It's about to begin. The debate decides who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone else, nay, everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Ja, komm, einfach nur für euch. As things progress during each, uh, each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets we have found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. 
Use the left stick to aim, then fire with the Y button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the start button during these arguments you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun! Ja, daher Dangan Pistolenkugel. Evidence of a struggle, ja. Ist die einzige, die wir gerade haben. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, you know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. No, that's wrong. Yep, sowas kommt häufiger vor. Ich werde das typischerweise durchlaufen lassen. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. Also ich werde typischerweise diese Sache immer einmal durchlaufen lassen, dass man von jedem das hört, bevor ich dann die richtige Sache widerlege. Weil im Zweifel kann man das nochmal durchlaufen lassen, das ist nicht das Problem. Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. We need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. Okay, das ist jetzt sehr simpel. Ja, Kitchen Knife Set, genau. Am Anfang hat man immer nur eine, später muss man die richtige auswählen. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon! So the killer used some random knife they had on him. How could anyone do something like that? That son of a bitch! It's because the object that was uh, thrust into Sayaka's stomach was almost certainly the knife that disappeared from a certain location. Jetzt kann man das beschleunigen. Without a doubt, so the killer used some random knife... No, that's wrong! Nicht irgendein Messer. No. I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Yeah. You can concentrate by holding down the RB button. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay close attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, it'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge, and if this gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But the focus gauge will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. 
Well then, good luck and have fun. Also man kriegt wirklich Schritt für Schritt immer mehr Optionen dazu. Aoi's Account, genau. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Kodo must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret when nobody was in the dining hall. And then he went and stabbed Sayaka with it. So he really did do it. Yes, and it's been decided. We've reached the end. Es gibt immer auch nur eine Sache, die man damit treffen kann. Das finde ich gerade so ein bisschen lame, aber so ist es am Anfang. Someone to prove I didn't take the knife. The person who was in the dining hall last night should be able to do it. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife. So. Where does that thing you cut must have taken it and did it in so, and jetzt? so sieht das dann aus. Man kann halt anhalten ein bisschen. Oder nicht anhalten, verlangsamen. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, One of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But... What if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oops, did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Im japanischen Original sagen die da übrigens Sakura-chan, also eine Verniedlichung. Beziehungsweise Hina verwendet das. Right. But then couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because um well just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. Stimmt, die können sich gegenseitig decken und es gibt keine Komplizen. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. 
But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! But... I'm a girl. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true! One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because... They're not here anymore. Someone who's not here? Are you talking about... Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Sayaka? Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... I got it! Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? Und ich denke, das ist ein interessanter Punkt für einen kleinen Cliffhanger. Die Mordwaffe wurde also von Sayaka geholt. Was hat das jetzt zu bedeuten? Wie ist das Ganze abgelaufen? Habt ihr vielleicht eine Idee? Wahrscheinlich wird sich das in der nächsten Folge aufklären, aber vielleicht habt ihr ja jetzt eine Idee. Und ich bin gespannt, ob Leute dann schon mal in den Kommentaren ein bisschen theoretisieren, was passiert sein könnte. Ich würde mich auf jeden Fall sehr darüber freuen, wenn da so ein paar Kommentare kommen und ein paar kleine Diskussionen. Ich bin auf jeden Fall gespannt. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Lasst ein Däumchen da, wenn es euch soweit gefallen hat. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Cheerio!